The governor's group is made up of nine departments and three units. Governor's Office, Deputy Governor's Office, Department of Human Resources, Department of Disaster Management, Supreme Court, Civil Registry and Passport Office, Magistracy, Attorney General's Chambers, and the Royal Virgin Islands Police Force. Our units are the Office of the Supervisor of Elections, Archives and Records Management, and the Sister Islands Program. As Governor, I am responsible for external affairs, internal security, and the administration of justice. All senior appointments in the public service come to my office for approval. These are based on the recommendations of the Public Service Commission, the Judicial and Legal Service Commission, and the Police Service Commission. Formally, I am the head of the public service, but day-to-day -day management is delegated to the Deputy Governor. The Deputy Governor's Office serves as the ministry for the Governor's Group. At the Deputy Governor's Office, we exist to serve you. We coordinate all of the functions and responsibilities of the departments which fall under the Governor's Group. We also process activities including games of chance, apostilles, and we coordinate events such as the Queen's Birthday celebration. As you know, the public service comprising of over 2,000 700 employees is a large responsibility and we're here to coordinate and to ensure the public is well served. At the Deputy Governor's Office we also coordinate the functions of elections, the Sister Islands program along with archives and records management. Additionally we process temporary liquor licenses. You've heard just a small bit of our departments and our functions and we hope that throughout this video you will learn and appreciate more of what we do. Again, we're here to serve you. At the Sister Islands Unit, we focus on all things Sister Island. We have district offices on Just Van Dyke, Anagata, and Virgin Gorda. The unit facilitates visits to the Sister Islands by government officials and other visiting dignitaries. The unit liaises between the public and central government, making sure that government is fully aware of the concerns of citizens on the Sister Islands. At the Department of Disaster Management, we work towards developing resilient communities and safeguarding life livelihoods and the sustainable development of our Virgin Islands. We do this through a comprehensive disaster management approach which involves identifying all hazards which have a potential to adversely affect the Virgin Islands. Then we work towards managing and reducing their risk on the territory. This requires us to continuously collaborate and work with the public and private sectors as well as members of the community through all phases of the disaster management cycle mitigation and prevention, preparedness, response, recovery, and rehabilitation. The Virgin Islands boasts a robust legal system that guarantees justice for all. The Supreme Court of the Virgin Islands, as one of the nine member states and territories of the Eastern Caribbean Supreme Court, provides a modern system of justice, ensuring that cases are dealt with expeditiously and justly, minimizing expense and time. The court delivers a high quality of judicial services to the citizens of the Virgin Islands and by extension, the wider Caribbean and beyond. The Civil Registry and Passport Office is concerned with the registration and preservation of vital records, citizenship, visas, passports and belonging status. We also deal with performing weddings, and legalization of documents. We develop and distribute information, promote good customer services, and serve as one of the territory's border security agencies. The Department of Human Resources vision is HR Excellence. We provide strategic human resources management leadership and partnership for the workforce so that the governments of the Virgin Islands can deliver on its programs and services. Together. 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 Together, we are the Governor's Group.